Let's take a look at another circuit. A uh, 24 uh, volts is attached to two light bulbs that are in parallel to each other, but that is in series with two other light bulbs that are parallel to each other. And uh, let's just answer a couple questions about this. First of all, if a charge goes from the plus, okay, to the negative, uh, what would be the potential energy change if it goes from X all the way to Z? Well, let's use conventional current flow. We'll consider the charge carrier is going from plus to minus. That means they're going through a 24 voltage uh, drop. So if I want to calculate the actual change in electric potential energy, that's going to be equal to uh, 24 volts multiplied by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. That's the charge on electron or a proton. So that would be 3.8 times 10 to the minus 18 joules. Now that's going to be an uh, energy loss because we're going from high potential to low potential. So it's a potential drop. So we're using up some of the energy as the light bulbs are burning bright. Okay, now what about the resistance total Okay, for the entire circuit? Well, we need to look at these two here. They're in parallel to each other. So let's do that one first. So 1 over R total is going to equal 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3. And then, of course, we'll need to invert that again. And that's going to come out to be 2 ohms. Okay, now let's get the resistance between the 12 and 24. So 1 over R total equals 1 over 12 plus 1 over 24. And that comes out to be 8 ohms. So I'm going to put a 2 here. And we'll put an 8 here to represent the equivalent resistance for both of those. Now, of course, the resistance total is going to be 2 plus 8. Because now this 2 equivalent is in series with that 8 equivalent to give us 10 ohms of total resistance for the circuit. Okay, now we can use this information to find whatever else we want in the circuit. Let's say I want to find the current uh, going through this branch here. We'll say through point Y. Well, first of all, what would its direction be? Well, uh, the current's going to come to this location here. It's then going to split between this branch and this branch. So the direction would actually be going this way. But I want to know what's the current going Okay, through my 3 ohm resistor, essentially, as it goes here. And it'll come down here and then rejoin as it goes into this next part of the circuit. So our current's going to go like this around, and then it'll go this way around. This side is going to go this way around, and then this way around. Well, I need to know the volts that is on this. I can use the voltage divider rule. Okay, I'll say the volts across the 2 ohm equivalency is going to be 2 over 2 plus 8. And this all multiplied, okay, by uh, 24. And that's going to come out to be 4.8 volts. So I know there's now 4.8 volts across the 2 ohm equivalency. So since that's a parallel branch, that means we have uh, 4.8 volts going this way. We have 4.8 volts going that way. So if I want to know the current at point Y, then I can just take 4.8 and that's going to equal I times 3. And then the current at that position is then going to be 1.6 amps. So that wasn't too bad, you know, trying to figure that out. Now what if I want to know the energy dissipated through a 12 ohm resistor in 5 seconds? This one look at here. Well, I need to get the volts, okay, at that position. Well, I know my total volts is 24. So if I want to know the volts on the 8 equivalency branch, so I'll say volts sub 8, I'll just take 24 and subtract 4.8 from it. And that equals 19.2 volts. So now I know there is 19.2 volts across the 8 ohm equivalency, but since that's parallel, I know that 
19.2 volts must be across the 12 ohm resistor. So if I want the power for that, I can write power, and I'll just say sub 12 so I don't get too confused. I'm just going to use the V squared divided by R equation. That'll be easier for me to do. So I'm not 19.2 squared. Okay, divided by my resistance of 12. And that's going to be 30.72 watts. I'll keep more significant digits this time because I want to be using that in a moment again. So what if I want to know what is the total uh, amount of joules or energy used during five seconds on that 12 ohm resistor? Well, then I can just use energy equals power times time. So the energy is equal to my power in watts, 30.72, and I multiply that by my time of five seconds. And that comes out to be 154 joules of energy. So remember, the longer it goes, the uh, more power uh, is being used. So energy is going to equal the power times that time. Now, one last question we want to look at. What if I'm interested in the potential difference across point A and point C? Well, point A is right here before okay, this resistor, and point C is before the next resistor. Assuming the wires have negligible resistance, I know that that must be whatever voltage drop is across the 6 ohm resistor, so that must be 4.8 4 .8 volts. Well, if I'm interested, okay, between the points uh, B and C. Well, again, point B is before this resistor here, and I go through all this wire here to this side here. And assuming that there's very little resistance to the wire again, that must be whatever voltage drop is across the 3 ohm resistor. So that would be 4.8 volts. And lastly, what if I'm interested in the potential difference between point C and D? Well, C is before the resistor, and D is before the resistor. So again, I'm assuming there's very little resistance in the wire. So therefore, there would be no potential difference there, so uh, 0 volts. So in particular, you know, there's 4.8 volt drop across here, and we started at 24. Let's illustrate that a little bit better. Let me change colors here. At C, there's going to be 19.2 volts. I don't know if you can read that or not there. And at D, there would be 19.2 volts, because that's what would be left after 4.8 is taken away from the 24. So I have 19.2 volts there. I have 19.2 volts there. So again, zero potential difference, assuming the wire has very negligible resistance associated with it. And that's a nice look at this circuit, and that's it for now.